welcome back youtubers it's late february it's cold outside and uh we're about to start the 3d season this spring uh daughter's involved in some 4-h archery competitions this year so uh we needed a way to make some affordable priced hip quivers for the kids when they go to competition so i got to brainstorming and uh came up with a little design i thought i might share today with you uh, this is one of the finished products now obviously my daughter's small frame this is a small hip quiver but it should be good for the kids uh first time shooters it i've got a couple of different variations i'm going to build today this is the first one it's made out of some two and a half inch nylon sleeve that you can get on eBay or Amazon. I believe they use this for hydraulic hose coverings, but as you can see, it's pretty reasonably priced. It makes a good sleeve for the arrows. And I'm also using some uh, Coyote 10. I think it's 0 .08 uh, thickness Kydex, and I may be wrong on that size. But uh, you can see this is the first pattern I made. I'm going to make another one here in just a minute. going to try a little different design. And uh, glad you came along today. Let's get to working. So today I'll be using a diode laser to cut out this kydex. Now, note to everybody, if you're not aware, when you cut kydex with a laser, it does produce some pretty nasty and toxic fumes. So as you can see here, I'm properly ventilated. I'm also cutting with the shop door open and I try not to stay in here because there's a slight odor, but uh, it the cutting of the kydex produces, I think, uh, chlorine gas and some other nasty volatiles. So I'm, I'm trying to cut this to a minimum and also I'm trying to get the most out of my sheets. So with a, a 12 by 12 kydex sheet, I can get two frames for this for these quivers out of it so uh, I don't plan on cutting a lot of kydex simply because of that but for the kids I you know we can get four quivers they can share those and I think that'll be a good project for today so uh, let's get started So now we've got our spine bent and I've already angled the belt loop bracket. So we've got the spine formed and this is an important little piece right here. This is your profile that you want to use of your quiver and it helps form the, the shape of the plastic kydex, fits in there 
and I've got...